Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to the Guardians. This is beta patch 2.2 for Elite Dangerous. Now, with this patch, some new installations, some new structures are installed in space. This one here is a military installation and I'm going to check out all the structures in this video. Now, when you do jump out of Super Cruise, you do end up right on top of these structures here. This is pretty much how it used to work in the early days with the space stations, so hopefully at some point Frontier will get these in line with the other stations and outposts. But just look how large this structure actually is. Very, very large indeed. I do believe that some of these, if not all of them, are out of the CQC arena mode. So I took a bit of a flyby of the system here, and you can see straight away that I come under attack. Now, fortunately, this isn't the story for all of the uh, structures, but it is the story for the military ones, and that makes sense. They obviously don't want you getting too close to them. But rather than jumping straight back in the cockpit immediately, I wanted to still get the footage there of that flyby. But as you can see, I've lost my shields, I've lost a bit of hull, and I'm wondering whether or not I was going to be able to get away here in time. Boost in and jump into the next system in order to escape. I dramatically overheated. But at this point, it was either do or die, just as an incoming missile occurred. At any rate, I soon turned around to make a second attempt. Fortunately, at this time, I knew to keep a weller clear, and although I jumped right on top of it there, nearly smashing into the side, I soon turned around to get some rather nice footage of what this structure looks like from a distance. Frontier have clearly put quite a bit of thought into where they've placed these structures. This one very close to the local star, as you can see, almost within the fuel scooping zone. And the story is the same with the other structures. Now, for me, I feel this is a long overdue. They've got some gorgeous backdrops in this game, and they really need to make use of them. As it currently stands, there's nothing you can actually do around these structures for now. But Frontier do have gameplay planned around them. And as the structures are quite varied, and as they belong to all different types of groups, I'd imagine that that gameplay could be quite varied. And as it stands, there are some opportunities there right now for a little bit of gameplay. This one is a civilian installation, as you can see, again taken out of CQC. There is a lot of debris around this uh, installation, just as there was around the military one. Not sure what that's all about, but there's also a local satellite here that you can also scan. And if you do so, you do get some information from it and just maybe that will form a part of the gameplay at a later date. So really, this has been a long time coming. Elite has needed a variety of environments and hopefully this is just scraping the surface. Later, I'd like to see new installations down on planetary surfaces, something that is severely lacking at just about now. So when we do eventually get gameplay for these installations, I can't see that actually including any docking ability. For the most part, none of these actually contain any docking pads. But who knows, there could be a room for docking fighters, or maybe that's just what they've got planned, fighter gameplay around these places. Now the next installation was very close to another planet here. This again was a civilian installation, this one though much larger than the previous one. And hanging this close to the planet, it does make for a rather interesting sight. Now you can see some tunnels there, those are used in the CQC arena match, and you can actually fly into them in uh, the main game as well. A little bit more difficult with some of the larger ships because obviously the little fighters from CQC are much smaller. So there are four locations at the moment where you can find these installations. They have been listed in a forum thread by Sandro Samarco and I'll also list them in the video description below. It also seems though that there are more of them dotted around the galaxy and in fact there's a few types that I haven't actually seen yet. One of those is the capital ship docks. So keep an eye out for those and take a look around the galaxy. You'll never know what you might find. These do seem to be immediately apparent as soon as you jump into the system. You can see them there on your nav panel. Now I do apologize for the frame rate from this point forward. It's not all as bad as it is right here, but you will see a few glitches like this. I'm not sure why it happened, but I captured this footage late at night and I really didn't want to start messing around and restarting the computer that late. Anyway, this is an unauthorized installation, effectively a pirate base, 
and it is indeed surrounded by a whole ton of pirates and they started scanning me and I think this could have been an interesting uh, location to get into some fights with those pirates so probably a nice location to come to. What you're looking at here then is the Player Dis Nebula. In Beta 2.2 it's had a recolor and it now matches all the images you'll see of this nebula from uh, NASA and all the rest of those agencies. It's a complete change from how it was previously. Previously it was red and I was always curious why that nebula was coloured in such a way when it's not really shown that way to the public. Here at Obsidian Orbital just taking a few screenshots and having a look at how the nebula looks against the backdrop and a nice planet here around which Obsidian Orbital orbits. When you get to the dark side of the planet as with all the other nebulas this one lights up spectacularly and it really is truly beautiful. There in the distance you can see the black hole. Black holes haven't been changed for patch 2.2 but I do think that at some point maybe in patch 2.3 maybe a little later they're going to add accretion disks. If you target a black hole and look at the little icon on the bottom left of your HUD you will see that they look very different to how they did at one point. So that's a few of the interesting changes and additions to uh, patch 2.2. I'll be back later on with another video to take a look at a few more changes. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.